First and foremost, mm -hmm. I am unaware mm -hmm. of any, any previous session? lists. Okay. I get the point. Mm -hmm. Until something is officially communicated to me, mm -hmm. I want to presume that it hasn't happened. Mm. You, you understand? The second thing is, like I started, I said, I'm somebody who tries as much as possible to be governed by the rules. Mm. The rules don't say I should be consulted as a member of parliament. People have asked, but was there consultation? And I say, I don't know because I'm not entitled to being consulted. And so I don't know if there was consultation. But then when somebody's reputation and image is involved, and if my welfare and the welfare of other MPs uh, are involved, I think that MPs have a case saying we should be consulted. Mm -hmm. Now, his argument about consultation that could have taken place within the party and a certain leadership cannot be dismissed mm -hmm. because I was on another platform and I was asked and I said no member of the party at the national executive level has made a statement on the matter to deny consultation mm. okay and no member of the party has made a statement to confirm consultation so let's not Go there. Mm -hmm. Let's leave what happened at the national level at the national level. I'm sure at the right time they will speak. Haruna himself has performed excellently in this crisis. He hasn't spoken. But that his silence is actually no, fueling no, a no, lot of no, things. No, 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 no. He hasn't <laughs> he's spoken. actually spoken. Uh, no, he's only spoken to deny, deny the social media, the social media yes. tweets that mm -hmm. were put out there in his name. But cleverly avoided. No, the, you know, no, talking about no, it. no, 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 no. He hasn't spoken. Mm -hmm. And I believe, I believe that... Couldn't that be deliberate? No, no. I don't want to impute ill motives. But, but you don't think that Haruna, Haruna holds reason. the solution? Precisely. To, if Haruna comes up to say, well, this is what the party leadership has, has said. We may like it, we may not like it, but they are our leaders. This is what it is. My support for Atu Forcing is, 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 is solid, it's uncontested. I support him. He's my colleague. We've done the Furata Committee and things together. Until you have my support, let's all rally behind him and let's take the fight to the elephant. You don't think this would have resolved everything? Well, if you listen to some of our colleagues, mm. you played Dominic Ayane's voice. Mm. What did Dominic say? He said, it's not because I like Haruna or I like Muntaka or I hate Atu and etc. I know the quality of the relationship between Atu and Dominic Ayane. Mm. At the personal level, you get the situation. But he has consistently said he believes in the principle that MP should be consulted in any matter. But, but, but that's that not founded them. in law. It's not founded in the it's rules. It's not. It's not. Indeed, indeed, even in 2017, mm. when we met for us to communicate our leaders to us, I recall Dominic having strong objections on the basis of this principle. So he's been consistent about it. You were, there, you, you were there. He raised objections on the basis of the principle. So he's been consistent over the years. Over lack of consultation. Over the issue of MPs must be consulted. To the extent that, you know, Haruna some time ago when he went to the US, visited Congress and the Senate, and went to the UK, visited House of Commons. When he came back, he developed some guidelines in which he thought we could you know, structure a consultative process mm -hmm. that resembles what happens in the UK and in the US to guide parliamentarians in the selection of their leaders. leaders. He did present that paper to the national executive, except that there is no evidence of it hasn't been formally adopted mm -hmm. by the party. Mm. So there's been work around how do you structure uh, consultation. But like I said, fundamentally, as a constitutional lawyer, I'm asking myself, if the consultative mechanism disables the leadership of the party mm. would they, would they, would to control they, yes. the caucus, mm. will they buy into it? Yeah. Does it agar well for the functioning of a democratic enterprise in which 
you have a parliamentary group sitting in parliament mm -hmm. and a party sitting somewhere, mm -hmm. and yet that parliamentary group must owe loyalty mm -hmm. to the party. Yeah. What tools and levers are you giving the party to be able to control the individuals mm -hmm. if the individual can assert a certain level of autonomy? I, I get the, yeah, the, the, the point. So for me, That's these are fundamental constitutional issues. Whether Atu Ahoy, Uncle Atu Ahoy spoke to Haruna or not, it's an internal <laughs> party matter that are not ready. I only mention Anahoy. I mention Anahoy. You, you mention Atu Ahoy. No, no, no. You <laughs> said one of the Ahoy brothers. Yes. I get in the situation. Well, yeah, one you of are, the Ahoy brothers. The Ahoy Whether Kwesi Ahoy. No. Whether Kwesi Ahoy. So this is an after Whether Kwesi Ahoy <laughs> also, <laughs> also spoke. Whether Kwesi Ahoy also spoke with anybody. <laughs> Are you getting the situation? <laughs> I don't know. Very well. Whether Kwame na Ahoy yeah. also spoke to anybody. You don't know. Very I don't well. know. Are you getting the situation? You don't know what transpired. And, and I don't it think that it is, it is fair to these personalities for us to be mentioning their names. No, on, to the on, point on, where on, they're on, on radio. Had.